welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, a off-grid knives rapid fire rescue mind-blowing rendition, if you will. Before we get into that, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats show that number going down, but anything above zero is unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. We're back to blow over here. We support Leo to the chagrin of many. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law, and when we do, we take responsibility for it and feel bad. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, this is a video that in under 10 minutes absolutely should impress you about this knife. It's made by Off Grid Knives. Love Off Grid Knives. I love everything about them. My guy, Kirk Weiss, introduced me to Off Grid. This is his off-grid knife. I'm buying one seriously tomorrow. It's just badass. I'm going to give you guys some specs on it. You're seeing some initial sharpness tests there. Hopefully, you've seen where that liner lock, it locks up, man, right on time every time. But let's just go through some stuff. The weight, 6.6 .6 ounces. The blade length, three and a quarter. It is an ambidextrous thing. The OEM is in Taiwan. I love knives from there. The knife mechanism is assisted. It is a liner lock. It is a flipper. All badassery. The blade width is 1.15 inches. Blade thickness, 3 millimeters. Blade hardness, it has this HRC of 60. I love that. The steel is 14C28N. It is a Warncliffe style blade. Uh, blade finish, black wash DLC, plain edge, handle length 4 and three quarter inches, handle color black, uh, G10. It is a left right carry countersunk screws. It is a deep pocket carry. It has a head cracker on it. Now right here guys, all that hose you seen, we cut the canvas water hose or the plastic water hose with canvas. We cut high pressure, that red hose is a high pressure airline. We cut water hose, we cut Ratchet strap, we're just shredding that denim. This knife, that 14C 28N Sandvik, I love. To me, it has a, a razor sharp edge. I love a Warncliffe style blade. I think it is highly practical. Again, the lockup, fantastic. It has very comfortable jimping on the back. There's just a lot to love about this knife. I was impressed, honestly, just by the sharpness of it. In these few moments, in these few moments, think about all the materials we cover. I love the assisted opening. There we can close it one hand. Little, little bit of assistance needed because it is an assisted opening, but not much. If you're in a pinch, one hand will get it done. Now I've told you guys, I've showed you all the measurement of my hand. There we see it's a, a deep carry, rides very, very well in the pants. Right here, we're going to do our, our zip tie cut test. This is something I actually do every day at work. I go through a ton of zip ties, son. No edge damage at all. I try to show you the edge a couple times during this thing. As, I, as I've stated before, we're going. We're in the process of saving up. going to upgrade the camera equipment, give you some better looks. In the meantime, let's just focus on the function of the knife, shall we? We shall, Scab. Thank you. We're doing the Donnie B all day drop test. The Donnie B all day throw it at the stump test. Here's why. This is a liner lock. I dropped it, missed it, my bad there. But here's the deal, guys. When we're testing the folders, yes, we're testing the tip. Yes, we're, we're seeing if any edge damage, the balance, etc. We're testing here the liner lock. We're throwing it hard, okay? Lock never failed. Now, watch this shit right here. I'm telling y'all, if I seem pumped up more, than, more so than usual, Anybody who's watched some of my demonstrations or not reviews or demonstrations, if you've watched them, you've seen just about every knife struggle with this two inch high pressure hose, except the rapid fire rescue. Blue straight through it. Now, again, watch right here. Most of the time, it takes three, four pulls to get through that two inch toe strap. You hear me? two max right here. No tug, no pull. The blade came razor sharp. I've been impressed with the last two or three off grids that I've, I've reviewed or demonstrated with the sharpness out of the box, out of the gate. 
Also, comfortability in hand. Bro, this thing is insanely comfortable. I never use the word bro, and I just did there. Again, all the mediums were cutting. Super sharp, super comfortable in hand. The lock held up throughout the demonstrations. We throw it at the stump, we dropped it at the stump, lock held up. We do some light batoning. And everybody's gave you nuts boost baton with a folder. I know that. I'm aware of that. Thank you for that flashing news break. We do it to see if the lock will hold up. Not to mention, I throw the damn thing down between every segment. Watch this. High pressure blast hose, sand blast hose. Watch this right here, boys and girls. Not a problem. Slashed it right there, and we finished it off. I'm telling y'all, man, this knife right here is impressive. I am highly impressed with not only, not only the function of the knife, because that's what matters to me, okay? But out the gate, out the chute, Kurt took it out of the box, handed it to me. This thing is impressive as hell. Now, on Off Grid's website, they've got it listed, I believe, for $59. That's, that's hella good when you're buying it straight from uh, the manufacturer, the supplier, manufacturer, however the hell you say it, Off Grid Knives website. Go there. It's $59. It's Rapid Fire Rescue with Glass Breaker. Is it worth You're damn right it's worth it. It's worth twice that, in my opinion. You can argue about this. You can argue about anything you want to argue. I'm not just telling you about this knife. I'm showing you about this knife. Here's some 12 gauge wire. We're gonna do. We're gonna do our little where we strip it. I, I use that a lot at work. I really do. The blade needs to be sharp. Have a good edge. This does. We chop the 12 gauge wire twice. No edge damage. And that stuff, that's that heavy, guys, that's that heavy car radio, car wiring type stuff. It's, it's heavy enough, it'll chip an edge if you're not careful or you got the wrong heat treat. With that high, high Rockwell, that 60, man, I'm digging this knife. I love a worn cliff. We actually do a little stabbing with it here in a minute. I'm just overly impressed, guys. I've said it, I've said it, I've said it. Here's what I did. When I started this review out, it was at about uh, 18, 19 minutes. I took as much of the crap out as I could, the walking around, the redundancy, and just showed you what this knife can do, and it can do a damn lot. There's that horsehair rope crap that I hate. Now, here we're doing, we just did a little bit of this. The lock never failed. Not one time did the lock fail. I dropped it, y'all know that. It wouldn't be a Choir Boys Cutlery video if I didn't fumble around while batoning. That's just me, it is what it is. Again, Lock holds in good. a boy, scab. Good night, all. Just crushed it, man. Right here's a little stab test. It's getting a little dark, so let me just tell you this. That's quarter inch uh, rubber from a sidewall of a tire, steel belted tire. We were able to get two pretty good with it. I was impressed with this part. Now, from here on, I think we move into the light a little bit, so I apologize for that. Just show you a little shredding of the pizza of the hut, son. Y'all know old scab's gonna love him some pizza, and I'm loving it here. Awesome carry, awesome price. I've actually had it in my pocket this weekend while Caden Hollis was in town. This is this is not the first real cutting I've done. With it. I think that makes it more impressive. We've cut all kind of stuff with this thing, and if you just think about these short, these brief minutes of everything we cut for under or for sixty, but let's call it sixty bucks. You can't beat it, son. Hella knife, hella build. It's awesome. Real quick, guys. We've got a we've got a. Blade Talk with Scab and Joe, Monday night, 8.30, with Satisfaction. Can't wait. Super excited. Do me a favor. Subscribe to Blade Talk with Scab and Joe. It's my other channel. Donnie B. All Day, my brother from another mother. Awesome brother in the blade. He just crossed 9,000. He's marching to 10. Go subscribe to him. Joe, Steel Force and Fire Sword and Knife, my partner on Blade Talk. Subscribe to him. The Shredder Family. Off Grid Knives loves the Shredder family. The Shredder family loves Off Grid Knives, and I love them both. Go subscribe to them. And finally, Knife Delights, awesome guy. Tom's a great guy. Subscribe to him. Guys, final thoughts. It's a badass folder. I love it. I recommend it. I'm Scab. I'm